Okay, in this video we're going to uh, solve these two equations and the instruction we've been given is by eliminating x. Okay, so these are fairly high level maths GCSE. There's a couple of skills that you need to use with this, but we'll take it easy on this particular video. Uh, please do add a comment below if you're not sure about anything and I'll always come back to you. Okay, so the first thing is, is we've got x minus 2y equals 1. So I can, if I want, rewrite that to x equals 1 plus 2y, because all I'm doing is I'm adding 2y to both sides. If I do that, that becomes 0, and this becomes 1 plus 2y. Okay, and I'm going to take that value of x, and I've asked us to eliminate x, and I'm going to take that value of x, and I'm going to put it into this part of the second equation. So I could write the second equation as 1 plus 2y. Now, just be very careful that it is squared, so it's good to put it in brackets and square it, and that's going to be plus y squared, and that equals 13. And then really it's a case of multiplying this out and solving for the value of y. So 1 plus 2y squared, well, if I write that out longhand, I'm going to end up with 1 plus 2y multiplied by 1 plus 2y, plus y squared equals 13. Okay, so um, we've got two brackets there. I'm going to multiply those out. So 1 times 1 is 1, plus 2y, plus 2y is plus 4y. I appreciate I've missed a step there, but hopefully you'll be okay with that. And I've got 2y plus 2y is plus 4y squared, and that's plus y squared equals 13. So now I need to gather up the like terms and that will give me then a quadratic equation that I can then solve. So 4y squared plus y squared is 5y squared. I've got uh, plus 4y and then I've got 1 here and 13 here. Well, I've got to be a little bit careful with that because I need this to equal to 0 in order to solve it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to minus 13 from both sides of the equal sign. That becomes 1 minus 13, which is minus 12. That equals 0. OK, now at this particular point, you might decide that uh, you could solve that by using a quadratic formula. That's perfectly fine. You could have a go at completing the square, but it might be a little bit tricky. But we're going to use, in this particular case, cross method. Now, I appreciate not everybody's familiar with this, but it works for me, um, and I will provide a link through in the video, right about now, okay? And that will take you through to the video if you wanted to have a look at that at the end. But the reason I use cross method is because it gives me a kind of a visual representation of the factorization of the two brackets. This is 5y and y. So I know that my first, my first term and my third term is 5y and y. OK, the next thing is I've got this minus 12. Well, uh, there's a couple of things you can do to multiply together to make minus 12, 6 and 2 or 4 and 3. So if I made that, uh, let's say 6 and 2, and the reason I would choose that is because I know 5y times 2 is 10y, and y times 6 is 6y. So 10y minus 6y will give me a 4y. So really, this means then, first I can put a minus in there, because minus 6, and that becomes plus 2. Uh, you could check that, work it through, make sure I'm accurate with that. Um, the reason I kind of like this method is because it allows you, if I, if I put 3 and 4 in there, I would have very quickly seen that I couldn't uh, multiply that out to make 4y. Um, so I've tended to prefer this method, but it's, um, it's mainly down to just having a bit of familiarity with it. OK, so I've got 5y minus 6 multiplied by y plus 2, and that equals 0. Now, um, if I then look at the values of y in this case, I've got y equals positive 6 over 5. So if I add 6 to both sides, just ignore that bit, add 6 to both sides, I've got 5y equals 6. 
So y equals 6 over 5 and y equals minus 2. And then really it's a case of taking those two values of y and substituting them into this equation, or one of the equations, but this is the easiest. So I could say when y equals 6 over 5, x equals 1 plus 2 times 6 over 5. Okay, so you need to be able to manipulate fractions a little bit there. So I've got 1, and then it's plus 2 times 6 over 5 is 12 over 5. Well, 12 over 5, I can make a mixed number, which would be 2 and 2 fifths. So 2 and 2 fifths plus 1 is going to be 3 and 1 fifth. And that would be my value of x. So when y equals 6 over 5, x equals 3 and 1 fifth. And then the other one was a little bit easier because it's a whole number. I've got x, uh, sorry, when y equals minus 2, x equals 1 plus 2 times minus 2. Well, 2 times minus 2 is minus 4. So 1 plus minus 4 is 1 minus 4. So x equals minus 3, okay? So we've got um, coordinates now of minus 3 and minus 2 and 3 and 1 fifth and 6 fifths. So if I plotted that, what it would look like is that you appreciate this is, um, this is the equation of a circle and this is the equation of a straight line.